Hello and welcome to your brand new ProKeep account. In this video, we're going to talk about how you can get started with ProKeep. At the end of this video, you should be able to set up ProKeep on your own without any help. You should be able to add products and create brands. You should be able to sell. You should be able to check your sales record. You should be able to check stock balance and add purchase. Let's get started. To add product, which is the first thing on our list, right here at the left sidebar of ProKeep, click on product. Once you click on product, it brings you to this page. To add a new product, click on add right here. This yellow button at the upper right corner of the screen. When you click on add, it brings you to the page where you can add your new product. I'm going to name my product my first product. You can use the name of your own product here. If you run a pharmacy, you can use enter your own product. For instance, paracetamol. If you run a restaurant, you can enter your food and so on and so forth. So right here, we have our units and then we have our brands. Let's go ahead and create a new brand for our product. So right here in front of brand, there is a plus button that you can use to create a new brand. So right here, I'm going, I'm going to click on this button to add our brand. Let's say Amzor. A brand of drugs. Then we'll click on save. This is a short description to make you understand what this brand is for. I click on save. We've successfully added our brand to this product. The next thing to do is let's select the unit we want to sell the product in, which is pieces. So we'll scroll down and go ahead to add our reorder quantity. If I select 20, it means when my first product goes down below 20, I will be able to get a notification from the system to reorder. So right here, you add your purchase price. If I purchase that product for 500, add 500, and my selling price is 1,000. Enter your selling price here, right here. Once you're done, you click on save and add stock to add stock to your product if you click on save it's going to save this product without any quantity so let's go ahead and click on save and add stock right here we are on the opening stock page the next thing we need to do is locate the quantity remaining field and enter the quantity of my first product that you have right here. Let's say you have 700 pieces. You enter 700 right here. You can go ahead and select the date of adding this opening stock. Once you're done, you go ahead and click on 
save. Congratulations, your product is created and we have successfully created our first product on Proki. The next thing on our list is how to sell this product we just created. To sell the product we just created, all you need to do is click on POS at the upper right corner of our screen right here. This blue button. Once you click on POS, you are brought to this particular page where you can sell. I have my product displayed right here and to sell this product, all I need to do is number one, select the customer I want to sell to. This is a brand new account, we don't have any customers so we go ahead and add by clicking on this plus button. So when you click on the plus button, it will bring you here and then you type your customer's name, John Doe, and then enter your customer's mobile number. Once that is done, and then you can enter the email of your customer. So once you're done, go ahead and click on save. Congratulations, you just created your first customer. So in order to sell to John Doe, all we need to do is right here on the product field, we can click on it and type our product. You can either type or come here to select. Once that is done, the next thing to do is how many quantity of my first product does John Doe wants to buy? So let's say he wants to buy 50 pieces. We enter 50 pieces. And once we enter 50 pieces, we go ahead and click on cash. And congratulations, you have successfully sold to John Doe. The next thing on our list is how to check your sales record. So in order to check your sales record, we need to leave this page. How do you leave? You leave by clicking on this back arrow button at the upper left corner of the screen. Once you click on it, it takes you directly to the POS sales page where you can view your sales record. Right here, you can see the invoice number of the sale and the name of the customer you sold to, the amount he paid, and the total sell, the total paid, the sell due total items. This is how you check your sales record, and you can even filter by some parameters right here by customer, payment status, date range, by user, and so on and so forth. Now we have learned how you can check your sales record. The next thing is how do you check your stock balance? To check your stock balance, all we need to do is click on products. So right here, we have our product, my first product. Added to business location here, my demo business. We have the unit purchase price the 500 and the selling price the 1000 and the current stock right now is 650 pieces. So this is exactly how you check your stock balance. For more information about your stock, you can click on action right here and say product stock history. And then you can see the history of this particular product stock. We had 700 opening stock and we sold 50 which we just deducted 50 pieces and now we have 650 pieces left we have successfully learned how we can check our stock balance the next thing on the list is how you can add purchases after you've sold your stock is reducing how can you add purchases to increase your stock. In order to do that, at the left sidebar of our screen right here, 
you click on purchases once you click on purchases you go ahead and add purchase you click on add right here the yellow button at the upper right corner of the screen once you click on that it brings you to this page where you can add purchases right here the first thing you need to do is add a supplier the supplier is someone that supplies you your product I'll go ahead and click on this blue plus button right here in order to create or add a new supplier I'll name this supplier my first supplier so go ahead and see the last name can be here you have the mobile number of the supplier here you enter the mobile number and then you go ahead and click on save once your supplier is added you go ahead and select your purchase status and you can set your dates of purchase right here by selecting the dates you entered your purchase you can decide to backdate your purchase if there's need for that so we'll go ahead and say our purchase status is received so once that is done the next thing we we'll do is to enter the product you want to purchase so we'll say we we'll type it right here my first product so how many quantity do you want to purchase you enter the quantity you want to purchase right here let's say we want to purchase 50 once that is done the total item is 50 right here the net total amount is 25,000 you can enter your discount information here if, it, if it's applicable to you and the shipping information can also be entered here if it's applicable to you so this is the part where we add payment to our purchase our purchase total is 25,000 and if we leave this field this amount field empty it means we are telling the software we are purchasing this particular product on credit we can see right here we have payment due 25,000 so let's go ahead and enter our payment right here to indicate that we have paid for this purchase go ahead and say 25,000 you can see my payment due is now zero if I go ahead and say okay 20,000 I have a payment due of 5,000 to balance so I'll go ahead and say 25,000 once that is done you select your payment method is it cash or card or bank transfer so I'll say cash once I select payment method I go ahead and click on save so once you click on save the purchase will be added automatically congratulations you just learned how to add purchases on Proki you can have your purchase records displayed right here and to view the record you can always come back to purchases to view the record of your purchases and we have the filter button right here that you can use to view your purchase record by location by supplier purchase status once that is done you can go ahead and go back to your stock to verify the purchase you just made this is our product you can see we have our quantity back up to 700 after the purchase so to verify that go ahead click on action click on product stock history and right here you can see the history of our product the open stock was 700 we sold 50 and then we purchased 50 so congratulations you have learned how to add products how to sell that product how to check your sales record how to check your stock balance how to add purchase and how to verify the purchases so congratulations once again you are good to go and can start using ProKey without any help thanks for watching this video ProKey your business growth partner